is one of those things that um, the right really claimed that Joe Biden was going to do. Oh, he's going to defund the police. 911 is going to be done. There's going to be no more cops on the streets. Everybody's just going to be, uh, there's going to be people robbing each other and there's going to be people raping each other in the streets. Everybody's just going to be jacking off in the corner of every street. Just spunk everywhere. There's going to be spunk covering up plants and fucking front doors. You, 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 can't, you can't walk anywhere without, without uh, you know, stepping in, in, in somebody's spunk. That's that's what that's what's coming for in socialists to fund the police of Joe Biden America. More more spunkies. Uh, Joe Biden is not going to defund the police. He's already came out and said that he's not going to. He doesn't believe in it. Joe Biden a, a constantly keeps calling all of the protests against defunding the police uh, riots. Ignoring the fact that the cops are the ones that get violent first, or they infiltrate these things, or they uh, they find these outsiders to instigate the protesters, which is again just like they're like, yeah, I know the cops are like throwing tear gas and chemical weapons and rubber bullets, but why do like the protesters have to throw like? bottled water can't they be above that and it's just like how much fucking patience do you really want fucking protesters that are already on edge how much patience do you want them to have how about you fucking call the cops and not use chemical weapons against their own fucking citizens how about you you talk about the cops not proving the point of what the what the protesters are protesting uh cops under Joe Biden are just going to get more protection. This is the author of the crime bill, somebody that hasn't apologized for the crime bill, somebody that doesn't believe that the crime bill is as bad as it, as it is, and has had negative consequences on society as it has, someone that's still proud of it, someone that has incarcerated uh, innocent and nonviolent black people in America. Joe Biden is going to, there's going to be more protections for the cops. And how is there going to be more protection for the cops? Because there's going to be more money allocated to the cops. What Biden wants to do is give the cop police departments more money for more sensitivity training. Yes! What is more sensitive than a man with a loaded gun, a taser, a baton, bulletproof vest, and a god complex? Oh, man, that is, that is just the makings of sensitivity right there, you guys. Nothing says sensitive like, you know, someone that's armed to the teeth, someone that's ready to go to war. That's like the most sensitive person out there. There's going to be way less transparency with, with the Joe Biden administration for cops, right? Like uh, cops are cop, you're, you're going to hide more shit. It's going to be harder to get body cam footage. And even if the body cam footage does prove that these police officers did uh, kill innocent people or get more violent and brutal towards innocent civilians, a Joe Biden administration is not going to do anything about it because they still have qualified immunity under the Joe Biden administration. Biden's not going to get rid of that. The Supreme Court is mostly conservatives. Biden himself is a conservative. It's not going to get rid of qualified immunity. There's no fucking way. So under a Biden administration, uh, you're going to have a more corrupt... uh, With proof... Corrupt uh, law enforcement. Uh, part of that too is I, I think Biden's going to ignore what came out in the blue leaks, which shows that there are uh, connections to f- 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 two white supremacists and law enforcement. Law, uh, white, white supremacy groups get a major pass when it comes to law enforcement, um, or they propagandize and they say like the Boogaloo Boys are connected to the Black Lives Matter movement when they're not. 
you know, the Biden administration will, will kind of uh, look at them in that regard. And if Biden really wants to sit there and claim that, you know, he is against white supremacy, then he needs to address that within uh, law enforcement. Uh, he needs to ad- address the connection of uh, white supremacy and law enforcement. He needs to look at what's in the blue leaks. First of all, he needs to read the fucking blue leaks, which I doubt that he will, right? Uh, and uh, and then he needs to like do something about it, which I don't think he will. So you're still going to have white supremacy. It's just going to be veiled within the thin blue line. So I don't think police and law enforcement and police brutality is going to get any better. You know, we're, we might have some local initiatives like we did in Minneapolis over the summer um, where the city councils will work with protesters to defund the police and talk about uh, how to um, reinvest in communities, reinvest in communities of color, uh, talk about mental health. Talk about education. Talk about health care. Um, rather than demonize and punish and attack. Uh, rather than going to war with the public. Uh, you know, so... Uh, I, I think on a city level we'll have some opportunities. But other than that, I think Joe Biden is going to be uh, just as much of a disaster when it comes to... Uh, Black Lives Matter protests as Trump was. And we're fundamentally going to see no change. Um, that's that's what I think is probably going to come down the pike. And honestly, I don't, I don't think he's going to say much about cops at all uh, because I, I think if he's smart, he will completely stay silent on the criminal justice issue. That's what I think he'll, he'll primarily do, if he's smart, if he's smart about it. Um, so... But hey, remember, he's keeping his promise. Fundamentally, nothing will change. And fundamentally, nothing will under Biden. But, like I said, on a city level, we can push the city council to work with activists to build a better infrastructure. And if if enough cities start doing that kind of stuff, it will become unignorable and it will become far more difficult for someone like Joe Biden uh, to uh, not you know, atone for his, for his shitty criminal justice record and do something major on a federal legislative level. Um, you know, so we'll see, keep, keep the pressure on. Um, but you know, work, work on the ground level. That's, that's what I'm going to support. Hey, what's up everybody. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like subscribe and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that, uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to, to, to address here. So make sure you like share and subscribe, uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, that way you'll get weekly uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.